So when I started building Intuitive Keys, I wanted to build, uh, I wanted to see how far I could go with Stock Main Stage. And so I had this idea, what about if we had an audio input? So this audio input maps uh, audio signal that, that you'd be bringing in through the piano engine. So if you have a controller that you're used to playing, that you already know the sounds, and now you're moving over to Main Stage, the point is you don't need to abandon that. Um, you can use some of those favorite sounds and integrate them. So if you got a good hardware piano sound, hey, use that. That's great. Or heaven forbid you're using a Nord as a controller um, and you're not using the audio uh, from that beautiful, beautiful instrument. You know, pipe that audio in, uh, incorporate that into your, your sound here. So I've got an Alesis QSR here, and I'm just going to step through some of the the sounds. Um, so this is um, sound 01, Grand Design. And um, it's gorgeous, right? And um, it responds to Mod Wheel. So um, it's not going to respond to this 8VA button because that's a MIDI implementation thing, um, but it'll respond to the hard compression and the shimmer. Here, let me go solo piano. All right, so you hear that amazing shimmer, even the delay. So that's on the, the hardware, outboard hardware synth, right? So use that sound, incorporate that, um, because it works, it sounds great. So Rhodes from main stage, and then the piano from the Elise's QSR. That's what we're listening to. Sounds great. Well, let's, um. While we're here, let's just go to the next sound and see what happens. So the next one is called Piano Stack. Sounds great. Let's just go to the next one. Dual Roads. Sounds great. You know what? Maybe we could layer that with our uh, Yamaha piano. It's a great sound. All right, let's just go to sound four. Tynodynes, it's called. Turn off the piano. All right. Very mellow. Gorgeous. Goes great with the pads. Four sounds in a row. All right, next one's um, FM Digi Piano. Let's bring in a piano and layer that. So if David Foster is uh, your thing, there you go. And the next one is called EP Silk Pad. I love this sound out of the Alesis. So, you know, I hope you're digging how cool this is. Um, I love mixing different synthesis types. So to be able to mix hardware in with main stage and everything that's going on here is just so cool. So this is one of those things where it seemed like it would be cool in theory, but in practice, I think it's even cooler. Um, and if you got that hardware machine and it's just sitting there and you're not using it and you know it, um, why not incorporate those sounds in? So I really hope you get a chance to check this out um, and use, uh, you know, bring your hardware back into your main stage rig. And the way uh, Intuitive Keys, uh, this legacy product works is I started out with an audio input 
And then um, this is called series zero, and this is all stock main stage. And then series one is stock main stage, but instead of an audio input button over here, there's piano 162. So that's kind of, it's a mostly free piano. And then um, series two has uh, Waves Grand Rhapsody. So that's about a $50 piano. And then series three is Native Instruments, The Giant. So you'll see that over here. So that's just a way to, you know, leverage these pianos and give you the ability to use that one killer sound over the top of all these other are in, you know, cooperation with all these other just killer sounds, this killer synth engine. So thanks so much for listening. I really hope you get a chance to check it out. Take it easy.